Hi everyone, it's Dina again. If you have not watched the giveaway update that I posted earlier, please go do that. Um, uh, it's an update on me putting my giveaways on hold right now um, because the coronavirus has been caught and spread around our Phoenix post office hub. So um, I don't want to send any mail out right now. So go watch that video. I've got details um, in there if you haven't seen it already. So what I want to do here is there was one more piece of ephemera that I realized I was missing out of my bin that I wanted to do that I usually always put in my journals that I love. And it's this kind of big tag with a pocket in it. And this is nice because it takes up kind of a whole page. Um, so like I would put it maybe on something like usually a pattern paper, but not one with an image. So like here, and so you can still see the pretty paper around and then you've got a pocket. So um, I wanna make those. I've already done three of them, so for three journals, so I'll do the fourth one here. So what you're gonna need is, um, I've glued two pages, of you need three pages of book page. So I've glued two of them together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the white and I'm gonna trim as close to the words as I can get all around on all four sides. Okay, one more side. Okay, and then I want to do my little tag shape here at the top. So I'm just gonna roughly cut a corner there. Then I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna flip it over and put it against the other corner and trim it. That way my corners match in shape and angle. Okay. Now this third one book page, I'm going to glue kind of just to hold things together just on one side and I'm going to fold it in half. Just like that. And with the side that the words are are straight, they're not upside down. See like this side, well, they're, they could be right side on e either side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take off two lines of text for my pocket. And then I'm going to ink this top edge because once I sew it, because I want to put a line of stitching on it to kind of outline my pocket, I'll show you. Like right here, I want to outline my pocket here. And you need to do that, ink that and sew it first because you won't be able to get to it once it's down on the tag. So these are super simple. So what I'm gonna do is take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a line of stitching here and then I'm gonna place it on top of my tag and then I'm gonna sew all the way around. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn all the way around and across my pocket, and I did that first, so it didn't close the pocket up. Now I'm just gonna um, finish inking. I have so many of these little book page ephemera things that I keep multiples of in my bin, and I just, I have not taken the time to um, uh, just make multiples of everything and keep my bin I've been doing so many journals lately, and so I've run out of a lot of stuff I'm completely out of, so like this one, and I was sitting here this morning thinking about ephemera I wanted to pull for my journal, for these journals, and this one came into my mind, and I was like, oh, I don't even have any more of that, so there was nothing like to remind me that I needed to make more of those. I really need to do an idea book to put samples of all my stuff in. Okay, so we have four of these. So what I have is, what I've pulled is these, obviously, that we just made, 
and then the book page ones that we did in the last video. So I have four banners. And then we did the two different size corner pockets. So I've got four large ones and four small ones. And then our little, um, our little pockets. Actually, there are big pockets um, that I finished up and I've got four of those. So that's my book page ephemera I'm going to use. So that's four different things. So now let's pull my bin in and go through it. Oh, okay. Let me see if I'm in camera here. All right. So now what I'm looking for is other kinds of, I wonder, do I have four of these? Let's see, because I really like these library pockets, these green ones. And I have exactly four left, so I'm going to pull those. Oh, I did have one in here. Look at that. I had two, actually. So let me get these put away while I'm in here. I've got one more. So now I have three of those. Okay, so let's see what else I have. I do have these. Um, and I really like these. These are the ones that we did in a video that kind of clip on the outside of a page. And they have journaling space on the inside. And they're kind of nature-y. So I think I'll pull those. I need to make more of those because those are my last ones. I've got library pockets. Oh, I know. Um, let's see. I have these. These are a full page kind of cross pocket um, thing. So let's pull four of these. Let's do the green. Um... Oh, definitely blue. It is Alice. Let me pull. Actually, I have four blue ones. Let's just pull the four blue ones. So one, two, three, and four. So we'll pull these. Okay. So I have those. Let's see what's over here. Okay, these are double pockets that were made out of the index card dividers that I just covered with paper and stitched around. So let's use some of these. Let me see what colors I've got. If I have any blue, I, there's a couple that have two. I've got two of them that have blue edges to them. So we'll pull those two. And I don't think I have anything else with blue on it. But we can use these like yellowy flowery ones. So let's use these. So that's those. So that's more pockets. And I think I think that's about it that I want to pull right now. Um what I'll do is as we get farther along we'll see where we need to maybe add some stuff and then we'll probably make some stuff out of our Alice paper. So for now, I think that that is good. Let's pull some of these bags for maybe one of our inside front and back covers. Okay. So we have those. those back. Okay. So I think we'll stop there <laughs> for now. <laughs> so let's see here. Maybe we could start with the bags. Let's put these aside. Now let's see what I want to use on the bags. These I kept all my little off cuts from the masks that I made for my family and I thought they went really well with the um with the Alice journal, so I kept those. Maybe we'll wrinkle up some of it and put it on like the edges here or something. We'll see. Okay, so I do have this Alice paper left. Let's see what else I have. Mm, let's keep these out. These are going to be good. Have these papers here. Let's 
So we can use some of those. Hmm. And even this is kind of in the middle here, but oh, that's cute. Let's use that because it'll be something in this pocket covering most of this paper up. So let's get my paper trimmer out here. Let me make a mark. Where's my pencil? Where we want to trim this here. Leaving just a little edge of the bag showing. And then I'll take a measurement and then I'll cut the rest of the paper on that measurement. So right there. Okay, let's see, what does this measure? This measures three and three eighths by, let's see where we wanna, because this doesn't have to go all the way down. Let's save some paper here. Let's go right about here. All right, so we have three and three eighths by four, roughly four and seven eighths. So we need four, one, Let's see. <laughs> got so much stuff in the way here. <laughs> okay, hang on, oh my goodness. Okay, so three and three eighths, one, two, and it's gonna be roughly about right there. I hate it when trimmers don't have all the measurements that they should have. And this one's going to be by four and seven eighths. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, two more. Let's see. I'll use the other cover that matched. get that all the way. Oh my gosh, there's a fly buzzing by my face. It's driving me crazy. Okay, there's that. And one more. That's that four. Set this aside here. And let's ink these. Oh my goodness, this fly. I don't know if you guys can hear it buzzing, but I can. Oh goodness. So yeah, it's been a um, kind of a wild last like 12 hours or so. I got super scared when I got that phone call from my sister about her bro my brother-in-law's work um, because you know he's high risk. He has a pacemaker. He has heart issues, and um, you know my sister isn't in the best of health. She has some chronic pain conditions, and uh, just like me. Um, and I just like, I'm, I'm super scared. So pray for her y'all. Her name is Jana. And, uh, uh, just if you think about it, say a little prayer that, you know, that they're not infected. That's super scary. You never think of something like this possibly hitting somebody close to you, you or somebody close to you. 
And uh, so I just pray they're all right. Okay, let's, um, let's put these on our bags before we go any further. Oh yeah, those look really cute. Okay. Um, my art glitter glue should be here soon. So hopefully I don't completely run out of this before, <laughs> before it gets here. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue this down. Ooh, my hands are shaky this morning. You know, some mornings are worse than others with that. Okay, just kind of center this on here with a little mat all the way around. Oh, that looks really cute. And then I'm going to take and glue, oops, I'm going to take and glue down the two sides here of my bag. Just like that. And that one's ready. that one. I tell you, we've been doing pretty good up to this point, but ooh, I tell you, boredom is hitting like crazy just because it's been so long. My um, daughter, um, she got a Switch, a uh, Nintendo Switch, for Christmas or something like that from her dad. And uh, so her, she has like a Nintendo 3DS. And so she, she let me borrow her 3DS because she's not really even playing it now that she has her Switch. And she let me borrow her Nintendo 3DS because um, there's a couple of games on there that um, I like. One that I've never played before, but um, one is called Animal Crossing. And uh, I even played that game when we had it for Wii, and I just loved it. And I haven't played it in years. And um, you just, like, make your own little town and... Um, you know, design your house and, you know, things like that. It's really cute. And uh, I started playing that just because it's like, I don't just, like, the, what else am I going to sit and do? Um, stuck here at home. So, um, so I've been playing that. And then um, my other daughter gave me another game because I love puzzles. And, okay, let's cover these small little things here. And I'm looking at this card paper, and I'm thinking that's, like, super cute. So I'm thinking maybe we'll use that. I think that'll be cute. Um, so she, uh, oh, this is two sheets. Okay, let me tear that. I thought that felt a little bit thick. Um, so anyway, she, uh, she gave me this game last night to play on the 3DS, um, that was called, um, Professor Layton, and, um, it's, like, puzzles and things like that. Like, you have to solve the puzzles to, uh, advance in the game, and that was really fun to do. I had, um, a lot of fun playing that last night, and, um, but I tell you, I had to stop, um, because, where did I mark that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Um, I had to stop because, gosh, my brain can only function at that level for so long <laughs> before it was just like, oh my gosh, I need a break. <laughs> so, it was funny. <laughs> okay, let's see here. This little strip down here at the bottom is really, I like that. 
let's see, I would like to use that. So let's mark that. So we'll mark it like about right there. Bring this in, cut it. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm just cutting on my mark. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. Okay, let's take the measurement of this. I'm sure it's, I already cut that part, three and three eighths. And then this is a little over two, two and a sixteenth. Let's cut a few more of those. My trimmer's not liking not sitting on flat. There we go. Two and a sixteenth. I'm going to trim this little part off right here. I get a full card in there. I don't want them to be all completely sectioned. one more. I don't want to use this because it's like not full a full card in there. So let's cut another. We'll do it. Um let's do it here so I get that other piece of All right, sorry. I'm like talking and not full sentences to myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. These are scraps. Let's just ink these really quick. This is going to be really cute. And we'll embellish these further when we're ready to put them in the book. But for right now, the base of them is done. And that's enough for me for right now because there's so much to do. Um, with pieces of ephemera with doing four at once. So, this has got a little bit of a, there we go. All right, one more, and then we'll glue these down. All right, let's get these glued down. And these will be super cute. I'm thinking the back and side cover for these. Oh yeah, that's cute. That looks great with the hearts. Okay, there's this one. I love that black check trim. Really cute. Hmm, I think I want this edge to go on the bottom. Because they're playing cards, either direction works. Maybe we'll put the check edge at the top this time instead of the bottom. That'll look really good. Eh, no, I like it at the bottom. All right. So there we go. We've got our four bags, the base of them started. And when it comes time to put them in the book, probably what I'll do is just put some lace here at the top and then maybe a word or something here at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to call that done for today. And um, we'll do some more work tomorrow, and I will have gotten further 
with everything and I'll show you what I've done off camera when we get together next. So as always, have a God bless day, everybody, and stay safe. Bye-bye.